Hello, my name is Sarah Jane Stanley and welcome to the Day Show. Here with us today is Nick Cannon from My Catching Designs. Tell us a bit about yourself, Nick. Hello, Sarah. Nice to meet you. Hello, Sarah. Glad to be here. As you know, my company is Eye Catching Designs and our studios are based in Teddington Studios. Um, me and my partner, Lawrence, founded the company in 1997. So what do you feel is the difference between TV, theatre and film sets? Well, um, theatre is different because you have a whole stage to deal with. You have to know technicalities as a stage with certain positions and the way people focus on it and look at the stage. But there's a big difference between TV and film. Films use only a single camera, which takes a lot longer to film because of the angles. You have to do it one at a time. But when you're doing a sitcom or a stage production, you'll have four or five cameras on at one time. So this will be a lot quicker, meaning that it will cost a lot less money. Very good point, Nick. What else do you have to take into consideration? Well, Sarah, there are many other aspects of set design, including prop buyers. Most of the time we will go off with prop buyers and choose with them. But um, lighting production is a whole other story that is somebody's own job because that is too much work for us to all take into consideration. Um, as a set designer, you really have to use who we want to work with, but we don't always get that chance. Do you ever get a set of budget and want something more? Well, Sarah, trying to get money out of a production team is like extracting teeth. Um, they vary these days, but no production company wants to spend money on a set. What do you feel are some of the negatives of the job? Well, I have to warn you, it's definitely a dying art. Um, there's not many jobs out there anymore, um, and you'll have to fight for every single thing you want. But um, getting awarded a project isn't the hardest part. It's they're getting paid for it because that's not always a certain thing. But surely that can't be true. Well, sadly, in this profession, it is. Skills must be quite important then. Oh, yes, definitely. But um, we need these skills because we get a brief from a client and then we see what they want and then we start designing. Um, this is normally the best part unless the client knows what they want exactly and it doesn't give us much design time. Um, but we mainly use AutoCAD for these designs. Um, for the contractors, we need it to be a lot more detailed. The client needs simple plans um, because the contractors need to be able to build the set, so they need to have the best understanding we can give them so they can do the best job they can. We tend to make a lot of models of the possible outcome. Um, this is mainly to give the client a better understanding of the space. This is the creative part of the designing that you actually enjoy. Everything else is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so once the set's been finished, do you go back to get the set after it's been used? Um, no, Sarah. Um, it's Once it's purchased, it's then owned by whoever has purchased, so it's not ours anymore, all the rights are theirs. So what do you think the best way to get into this field would be? Qualifications? You definitely have to be qualified, however, it isn't always what you know, it's who you know. Um, you have to be prepared for how tough it is out there. So how do people get into it then? The truth of it is, it's unlikely you'll get a job on set design when you leave. Full-time work on set doesn't exist. The BBC doesn't have a design department anymore. There's no such thing. That's so strange. So how do people get into it then? Well, Sarah, we have a team of people hired in um, and they work for us when needed, but they're all freelance. See. What's about the health and safety? Who has the responsibility of it? Ultimately, the responsibility is for you as a designer. Um, you have to go to health and safety courses and things like that, um, but you also have to have knowledge of materials and construction anyway, um, but most of it, the responsibility is with you, the designer. Thank you, Nick. It was a pleasure having you here with us. We've learned a lot from this interview. It was great being here. Thank you very much. So, in conclusion to this interview, there doesn't seem to be a lot of work in the design field. It really is a dying art. And now over to Hogwarts with the weather.